Hello YouTube, I'm Bigal1982 and this is the Movie Reviewers 100. This week's theme is Tom Cruise Week, an actor who I have a sort of love or hate relationship with. The person himself uh, I find a bit weird uh, with his Scientology and the way he acts in the in real life, uh, but you can't uh, not say that he does some eight, uh, great films <coughs> and gives some great performances in uh, lots of films. Uh, at one time, I refused to watch any Tom Cruise films because I was so annoyed with the person. Uh, the whole uh, hype around Tom Cruise, uh, the whole atmosphere basically, uh, especially after his performance on Oprah that time, um, he was just like, oh my god, this bloke's pathetic. But uh, one day, one of his films was on, and I've seen films of his in the past, and uh, I thought, hang on a minute, yeah, he is quite a good actor though, even though. So, you know, I mean, you might not personally like pretty people, but you can appreciate their work uh, and uh, acting skills. But anyway, the film I've decided to review. Um, it's a film I quite liked. Um, I know it's sort of got mixed reviews when it was out, uh, released in 2005, brought to you by Steven Spielberg, and that is War of the Worlds. So when War of the War Worlds was released, um, being a sort of famous story of its own, um, people knew how it would end, uh, and partly in the story. Um, but me personally, I knew sort of parts of it, but I went into this film uh, not knowing too much. And um, I really did enjoy it. Um, as I said, this film stars Tom Cruise as well as uh, a young Dakota Fanning uh, who plays his daughter in this film. And uh, you also have Justin Chatwin as his son. Uh, also, in there, you have uh, Tim Robbins part of this film as well, plus so many others uh, as well. This film was directed by Steven, Sp Steven Spielberg. Uh, an original story was written by H.G. Um, Wells. The basic story of the uh, War of the Worlds uh, is well, it starts around uh, the relationship with uh, Tom Cruise's character, who play, uh, who's called Ray. Um, he's a divorced uh, dock worker, and uh, he's not a perfect father. Um, I think I believe he's been let down kids in the past, and that, and uh, but. Um, yeah, his uh, ex-wife uh, has got remarried, and this one weekend uh, she drops the kids around uh, the teenager and uh, his daughter, and uh, all of a sudden there's these freak uh, weather storms with lightning, and then this is where all the fun happens. Uh, yeah, all this lightning is bringing down aliens into uh, spaceships that have been buried under the earth for thousands of years, uh, and this is basically. Uh, the War of the Worlds is when the aliens come to attack Earth. Um, for me, there's some really great scenes of action in this film. A uh, really great sci-fi element. Um, I think the only thing I could think uh, badly about uh, Tom Cruise's performance in this uh, film is um, at the beginning you get sort of the feeling that he's a uh, sort of I don't know scruffy uh, steel worker. But uh, and then all of a sudden he turns into uh, sort of glam it up and uh, looking smart and uh, trim if you know what I mean. Uh, but other than that, uh, really good uh, sci-fi element. Uh, it has great chemistry with uh, Dakota Fanning's character, his daughter. Um, it's sort of like a I don't know tension between him and his son, uh, which is quite good as well. Um, and it's just basically about their um, their journey of survival. Um, to the end of the film, and uh, who they meet along the way. Um, they get to a point when they meet Tim Rod uh, Tim Robbins' character in his sort of uh, um, derelict house, and um, yeah, uh, he's sort of a bit of a weird character in this film. Um, yeah, and then it, there's also storylines of when the boy gets separated, and uh, about him trying to meet up um, at the uh, mother's house. Uh, further away, but yeah, so I say this film had a really good action scenes, uh, some really good sci fi elements. Uh, for me, the uh, spaceships and that look really good, it's got a really good atmosphere. Um, the sounds uh, of the, the, the make the spaceships, 
uh, the effects of when uh, they, people get lasered and just uh, evaporate. I really did like that. And it's just a really good, fun uh, film. And um, I thought Steven Spielberg done justice to uh, H.G. Wells' story. Um, as I said, this people a uh, lot of people uh, were mixed, uh, had mixed feelings on this film. Uh, but for me, I did really enjoy it. Uh, but I'm not sure if it will be for everyone. But anyway, feel free to go and check out uh, War of the Worlds. Tom Cruise does a, a really good performance in this film, I feel. Uh, it's got great chemistry with uh, um, his daughter, played by Dakota Fanning. And uh, you do root for the family to survive at the end. Uh, well, anyway, this has just been a short review this week on uh, Tom Cruise Week. And my review on War of the Worlds. Hope you all have a great weekend. And check out everyone else's review this week on Tom Cruise's week on the Review Reviewers 100. And lastly, I apologise for my voice as I have a cold. Goodbye.